All right, welcome back to the six seven Cummins build. Um, making noise. Anyway, nice old uh, fifty five Chevy just drove by. Fifty five Bel Air, pretty clean. Anyway, uh, what I'm gonna do is I stopped here. Um, so I got number one and I got number six done. The wrist pins and everything are on, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean these journals off. Or clean these, I guess you can call them journals. I'm going to clean those off, and then uh, I'm going to start putting, I'm going to put one and six in. Um, i got the bearings right here, some Clevite, some Clevite bearings, uh, 0.25 millimeter bigger, so because they did, they turn the crank. They turned the whole crank ten thousandths which is point twenty five and they boarded out the machine shop board the cylinder out uh twenty thousandths which is you know double so fifty point five zero millimeter. So anyway I'm gonna set you guys up. I'm gonna try to put these in and uh see how that works. Alright guys uh hold on Alright guys welcome back so what I'm doing is, I can't see right now, but hold on a second. Speaking of, a lot of lube, putting it all around the piston, throw this thing in here. So I'm going to take these bolts and the main the rod caps off. And I don't know if I mentioned it or whatever, but these are ARP bolts. ARP main bolts or rod bolts. So I have ARP mains, ARP rods, all the all that junk. So again Brake clean, brake clean is your friend. Clean this all up really, really nice. I'll stick a rod bearing in there. Oh, you can't see me, but I'm still here. I'm doing something. So again, just make sure you try not to touch the, the insides if you can at all of this bearing. So if you do, just take some, some cleaner. Clean it. The one, so I cheated a little bit, I already installed one um, <clears throat> because Obviously, you're gonna test the test my junk, test my tools, make sure it works before I do it on camera. So, um, kind of a pain. I need to get a new ring compressor because this ring compressor sucks. So what I found out is I just got I just have to use a lot of a lot of lube. So again, make sure you line up your rings. So I'm having that one, the oil ring on the skirt. And then I'll have compression and the other one where the wrist pins are. You don't exactly have to have it on the wrist pin, but that's where I have it. Open this up. And then what I do with the tool. Pull that in my hand somewhere. On the ground, and you just want to try to keep tools and everything as clean as you can, obviously. Come back up here. Tighten it.
try to not let it rotate because otherwise it's the same problem. front is. And hold on. I redo the camera position. Clean the bearing again. guys where I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing number one so again I'm gonna be in the way too so a lot of lube is fine so again front so front of the engines there just try not to scar the cylinders if you can This uh, this one likes to go inside the cylinder for some stupid reason. So I'm right behind me, back in here. My neighbors arguing, trying to pick a fight with someone, I guess. Kind of cool. Anyway, just uh, checking this, making sure that we're still lining up. Kind of weird. You ask me. When you don't have a good compressor, ring compressor, that's what happens. And uh, start all over. Not necessarily start all over, but recompress everything. Just making sure that the bearing's in the right spot again. Still good. Okay, right there. It's riding like that. It's riding weird. So. There we go. Piston is in. Then. 
can just push it. Go to the back. To the back, to the front. So, and then I'll just push it the rest of the way in, guiding it, making sure that it's going to fit right there. Okay. Okay, we're tight there. Put the cap, clean the cap really good. Sorry again, you guys can't see me. But I have all day. I just don't have all day. So again, just cleaning the cap really, really good. Take this bearing so you can see this bearing. It's got all kinds of junk all over it. Don't know why, but it does. So I'm just pushing this bearing in here. And it's as flush as it can go, and then once you torque everything, obviously it'll pull everything in. You just want to make sure you're in that groove. And then come in with the cap. Oops. Sorry. Come with the cap. The little notch there, it's going to line up with the little notch on this side. So, just gonna turn it like this. And I don't know if you guys watched my one of my old videos, but these have uh, the broken rods, they're fractured rods, however you want to call them. So, what they are is they and uh. Cummins makes them, they score it with a laser and then they uh, they break it so it's not cut or anything like that. It's kind of an interesting little deal. So I'm just putting some ARP ultra torque on the bolts. And Put them in just like this, and that's pretty much it. Cylinder says front. Kind of a messy job, but whatever. Are what it are is what it is. So I'm just gonna snug these up real quick. Make sure everything's good and locked down. Let's see if I can't zoom in for you guys to so show you guys this this gap right there that almost disappears. So let me just snugging just snugging them down. That's all I'm doing. So oh, as you can see that that gap basically just disappears. So that's how they that's why they break them. They break those rods. But anyway. So that's it for this video guys. Uh that's the installation of the pistons. So as you can see here, it says front, Ooh, zoomed in pretty far, front, that's the front of the engine. So we got number one and number six installed and uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to install the other four, still have to assemble them, but you guys don't need to see all that boringness. And, uh, yeah, go from there. Alright, guys, make sure you guys subscribe up here. Check out my boy, One and Glenn, as usual. 
Uh, watch my previous video over here. I will get to this project eventually. Um, but anyway, alright guys, subscribe.